Wasn't even the starter at the beginning of last year. But he is clearly the quarterback at the University of Georgia to begin this season. He hands off to Kenny McIntosh. He's ahead for a hard-earned two. The whistles had sounded before the ball came out. Good after the catch. Now a swing pass. Here's McIntosh. And he has a first down. All they can to get their teams ready, but you really don't know until the season starts in earnest. McIntosh bounces off a hit. McIntosh inside the 35. He's taking over as the lead. Georgia going very quickly. McIntosh, some shaky tackling again for Oregon, but they still teen of their freshmen who arrived in January to start in classes and to learn the system. Maybe not in that order. Kenny McIntosh on first down. Blank. The handoff to the motion man. McIntosh scores. Big Darnell Washington, number zero. He's right here. Brock Bowers is here. Washington is just going to cave in this side of the defense. And an easy touchdown for Kenny McIntosh. Impressive start to the season for the defending national champions. And they come out swinging it. Kenny McIntosh to the 31. Time for the Affleck. Although all parts are clicking. Bennett give it plenty of time. Another wide open man. It's McIntosh and a good tackle by Bennett Williams. Set loss. The thing that Stetson Bennett is doing so well right now is he's not forcing anything. He had Oregon plenty of protection to throw the ball down the field there, but nobody was open. It was a good opening job given that he got the Oregon head coaching job in December. Here comes pressure. Bennett throw plenty of time to get it off. McIntosh inside the five. Spence Stetson found him with the football. See, he gets off the jam. He gets separation. And Bennett accurate with the football as he's been all half. 37-yard gain, longest of the day for either team. Well, no big deal. Avon Thibodeau, the great defensive end, who was the number five pick in the draft by the New York Giants, one of the great players in school history, and Eugene. There's a tackle in the open field by Trey Wiles to start this season. Kenny McIntosh, the ball carrier. Well, the starters are still in there. There's McIntosh driving for a first down. It's not saying they shouldn't be in there. They certainly should up at LSU. I think he will bring stability and uh, consistency there that they maybe haven't had for a while. McIntosh again, just another wide open receiver with all kinds of open space to run through. And they go quickly. McIntosh with nobody in green around him again. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. But Boy. He's dealt with injuries throughout his career. It's a four-yard pickup. This is Kenny McIntosh. McIntosh, the leading yeah, receiver last week. Receivers are doing because of the time they've had together. I mean, great protection up front on that last play. McIntosh follows the right side of the line. Tate yeah, Ratledge, of course, on the season. Trying to convert another. They go to the ground game, and this one's going to be stopped in the backfield. McIntosh game tackled Isaiah Richardson there first. It gives Georgia a short field at Samford's 41. This is still a little toss ahead to McIntosh, and he's got space in front, and he's tripped up down inside the 15-yard line. And it with McConkie in motion at the 29-yard line, and it's McIntosh straight ahead. Milk the play clock here, down inside of two seconds. Bennett play action, doesn't like what he sees. He improved against the Ducks last week, it worked. And he makes something out of nothing here to Mac. But still something. Didn't try to force it downfield, kind of slid into that rush a little bit. That time Thomas Neville off the edge, and he slid to his left. Ramble all over the field last week in the dome, and this week here. Stetson Bennett dumps it off to McIntosh, breaking a tackle. First down. I know we've mentioned it before. 
Yes. Darnell Washington in pass protection now. He's big and physical coming in 2022. This is second and 15 for Stetson. Across the middle, good pass to McIntosh. Down. Coming a year ago, he's got a target on his back this year. Watch McIntosh coming. And Kenny walks in. End of the line of scrimmage. We talked about how much he's done. Take Ratledge in there at right guard. They only got a pair to the last resort right after the game, which is the first option, as you're saying, in Athens. Stetson drops it, picks it up, throws ahead to McIntosh. And he's short of the piece for the moment, lined up next to Bennett. With Jackson in motion. McIntosh running into his own guys gets a yard. The scrimmage. On the backside, Tate Ratledge. He just beat him there. Get inside. Yeah. Simmers. Really about a foot for Bennett, who hands it off, and McIntosh bumps off the pile and goes down. Shane Beamer, the receiving threats, and McIntosh out of the backfield. They lean on McIntosh, finds a big hole, and has the first touch down the field on their first drive. And they're at the South Carolina 43 to start this one. Kenny McIntosh down to the 28. Third down along two with McIntosh, the running back. Pressure up the middle, and Benson. Wow. The Benson, Stetson, Bennett. They are stopped. When you try to run a screen, you go ahead and invite pressure. But the problem was number 91, Tonka Hemingway, was guarding the screen. So not only was the quarterback pressured, there was no place to throw the screen and had to kind of throw it away. Of Stetson Bennett, who went 13 for 20, 166, and a touchdown in that first half. McIntosh runs for eight. Here's Molly McGrath as a high school player. And after the coaching staff here saw even worry they asked the coach please don't take him to any other camps we want him to be a game cut Keyshawn Gamble got the hit stench on Stetson Bennett on that last play now it's Kenny McIntosh and McIntosh gets loose for a big hole and really a little bit late filling from Nico Bolden he's a defender that to so many passes out of the backfield can run it too, and he finds first down running room around the right side for Joe. 18-yard completion. Mac Bennett now will dump it to McIntosh, and he's so good at this, but a nice shoestring tackle. Well-executed screen that time. Offensive line got out in front and escorted. Great tackle by Johns. So what they're doing with the passing game, a lot of quick passes. Fake the flip and then throw it out to McIntosh, and McIntosh gets down. Hugs, Aggies. You know what? I think it's going to be a battle. It seems like with that series, you just never know what's going to happen, but I got to go with Arkansas. I think they're the hot team right now. Really, my goodness, Rocket Sanders. Georgia looked like they were a little bit early. Pre-snap that ball, that whole play, somewhat out of sync. On the last series, which culminated in another Bowers touchdown, Bennett goes to the air, and this is caught by Kenny McIntosh. Ate a good bit of that second quarter clock. You don't want Kent State to get the ball back, and now it's dumped off to McIntosh underneath, and he's up to the four. Third and one, and straight ahead, easy running for McIntosh to move the chains inside the 35. Now. On a run play for McIntosh, and he tripped. He's had eight straight completions, getting it going in the second quarter, and McIntosh breaks tackles. Communicate with each. He's got a great relationship with McConkie as McIntosh runs. I promise you he's asking people in the gallery what the score is in this game. Here is McIntosh. Stays on his feet, strains for more yardage, and gets to... ...by Broderick Jones all the way from his left tackle position to come over there and help his running back finish his run. Work at his own 25 yard line. Facing pressure, had to get rid of it. And Kenny McIntosh wasn't ready. Caleb, that's because Caleb Johns was in the backfield. 
Bennett dumps it off again. It's McIntosh up to the 29-yard line. It'll be Oscar Delp checks in at tight end, and following him is McIntosh. He gets down to the five. It's a great job crossing the formation. Physical up in the line of script. Dogs will try to run it. Missouri is right there. That's Christian Williams. Paul, you think if Missouri did, and you see Christian Williams right there just busting through over the left side B gap, being able to penetrate and get an early TFL. That's what this Missouri. Danny McIntosh stopped short. Make a play here, but he's going to push the running back to bounce this one out to the left. Watch the penetration there. They want to get north and south right there. Kenny McIntosh does, but because of the penetration by Christian Williams. Right. Get us out of this. We've seen you do it. On the wheel route. Too strong. Aiming for Dominic Blaylock, who thought he... Bennett incomplete. A little high for Kenny McIntosh. How Stash is the running back. Bennett gets to him out of the backfield, but can't. Another miss. See Broderick Jones right there working on Isaiah McGuire. Field goal to extend it, but had to settle for three. Bennett hands it off. And they indeed have room for Kenny McIntosh. And he powers hands as a runner. He just won, and I don't know if they got it. Play clock late again. Hand off. A couple of yards for Kenny McIntosh, senior from Fort Lauderdale. Backside, running back on a linebacker, and that was the pressure that Stetson felt. And now McIntosh on the swing. And he's got another Georgia first down. Pick up a... of length and speed tracking that play down from behind a lot of times you'll leave a backside defensive end unblocked on some of those gaps McIntosh blasted at the line of scrimmage he might come again there he is meanwhile they run it right past him Kenny McIntosh in the open field Swerves his way into Mizzou territory. Anytime you blitz off the edge here, we're going to see Hopper come into the screen, and the run cuts right back to where he's supposed to be. Same thing that happened to Georgia on that long run by Missouri. The blitzing. Bennett hands it off. They go with the sweep. Here's McIntosh. Hit. First down to the pylon, and he's out of bounds at the one-yard line. Being blown up in the backfield. Great penetration there by Jeff Coat, and this is actually a heck of a play by Carly's to hit McIntosh and keep him from truly turning the pad all season up to here. Yeah, seventh best in the country coming in. Woo! Wow, what a lick. I tell you what, it's number one for flying around all night and taking hits. Again to the ground game. That's a first down run and more. Kenny McIntosh finally gets corralled at the 40. Tight end position. <laughs> On first down for the 35-yard line. McIntosh in the backfield. He'll take it first. And McIntosh uh, gets a couple yards. Inside the 45-yard line. Quick toss to McIntosh. He grabs it out of the air, but then he's met immediately. Well, that is excellent. So quick from the gun. You, you can see he didn't have the laces here. He's just trying to throw, catch the ball and throw it. It's like a hot potato. And you can see how it wobbles in the air. And this is a great job by McIntosh making the play in traffic. Yeah, Marcus Braggs. Look, Garrison Hurst on that, that list. Bowie's on that list. They throw it to him again. McIntosh, nothing there. Full of, you know, big bad bully on the block. You're expecting these kind of things. Breaking tackles is Kenny McIntosh. And McIntosh on the backfield. They may hand it off to him. Nope, they pitch it. Running to his left and to the goal line. Kenny McIntosh. Kind of offset fullback position. He gets enough of the edge defender to get. Goal from the eight. 
They pitch it to McIntosh, running to his left, and he is bounced toward the pylon. Did he get in? Nope, he's out of bounds. Seven-yard gain. He's not an overly big guy, but gosh almighty, does he run with some power. He's wow. got a, I bet his, his weight room annex with his lower half, the squat rack and all, I bet he puts up some big-time numbers. Caden Bridges was in on the tackle. All of this four minutes and 42 seconds. Just a controlled drive using both run and pass. Second down and eight. They hand the ball off to McIntosh. McIntosh running right. Let's check in with Sherry Burris. There's amnesia. Oh, yeah. Forget and go do it again. Third down and three. Out of the backfield. It's McIntosh. And McIntosh knocked out of bounds by Derek Hall. I think he shocks 59 yards on the ground in the first quarter. 59 in the second quarter. They give it right to McIntosh. And not much is there. 21 yards. Goes to the 40-yard line off the play fake. Bennett to throw. Throws to the near sideline. McIntosh. McIntosh makes a man miss. And he's got a first down. He just streaked along the sideline. Mm. Get down. Don't take the hit. Gets it off to McIntosh. He's slowed in the backfield, but keeps his feet moving. And he's going to get down inside the 15-yard line to the 13, maybe more. It is down to the 10. Nothing fires at your backs. They got great vision. You're going to see him move in the hole. Now he's downfield. And watch this offensive line participate <laughs> in just what is just a, a tug of war. We are not going down. Let us keep your way to. He'll jump in and tell you what's happening there. Here, immediately, it's Kenny McIntosh running hard. Preparation. Second and 10. There's Bowers coming closer to the line, blocking in front. And McIntosh doesn't get much. C.J. Taylor. Bottling up the run game for Ole Miss last he week. You see McIntosh a little hesitant there at, as he approached the line of scrimmage. Beach, who's had battled so many injuries in his career. Stetson hands it off to McIntosh, gets around the edge inside the 25-yard. Tenth play of the drive for Bennett at the 11. It's McIntosh going to the top of your screen. That's where Bennett will throw it. McIntosh makes a move. Touchdown, Georgia. McIntosh takes it straight up the gut and another. Pull the backside guard tackle. Huge hole, strong finish. Big Warren McClay. Robinson came in and now it's McIntosh. It's play action. And Bennett dumps it off to Kinney. Staying on his feet past midfield. And he gets about McIntosh, just such an excellent receiver. You see that, as you mentioned, to check it down, get it to him in space, make some guys miss. Great job. Kenny has no place to go, somehow escapes the pressure and gets no help up front. Look at this, you got a free runner right there. You just come off. That's confusion at left guard and center. Yeah, Devin Lee just. Stetson Bennett was sensational. In that first half, he hands it to Kenny McIntosh, who had a touchdown receiving and rushing. On second and three, good job of avoiding the pressure by McIntosh. He gets the first down, Alyssa. McIntosh tackled tackle. at the 12. He had Bennett hands to McIntosh. He had never had a chance there. So this is going to be Georgia, a field goal attempt. 44. Yeah, I just got beat right now at left guard. Got two tight ends. It's like having seven offensive linemen on the field. McIntosh will get stopped at the line of scrimmage this time. At the two. Kenny McIntosh into the middle of the pile and into the everything. And they know inside, get the double team, run right at the double team. Van Pran and Ratledge run right at it. And if you need a little push. McIntosh for a yard or two. And that'll bring the minus five rushing yards for the Gators. Here's the throw out in the flat to McIntosh going nowhere. That'll lose yardage. Kenny McIntosh. Moves up to the side of Stetson Bennett, takes a handoff, and McIntosh had a little head of steam going, and then... Van Pran, Ratledge, McClendon. Ooh, Ooh big stop. 
Uh, really? I don't think so. We're just looking for the linesman coming in where he put his foot. Man, I don't think he got to the line. It's going to be short. I don't think it's worth the gamble. Cannot give floor to the football there. Chris McClellan, one of the guys there to play. Odd angle to look at it from it there, right? Yeah. So give us a better shot. I have to admit, you know, they don't, they have to get to the line, though. The yellow line that you see. Stetson Bennett, quick throw. That's incomplete. Broken up. Motion can do for Georgia here. Their opening possession of the third quarter. McIntosh. And the ball came out. Still squirting around. Florida's got it. Actually comes from behind and rips it here. Watch him come from behind and rip the ball out. So he's one for two. One back to Bowers and one forced fumble for the Gators. McClendon had a shot at it, the right tackle. And he just went right over the top of the ball right here. And Dean's on the... Cocky in motion for Georgia. McIntosh on the carry, trying to make up for the fumble and runs out for 12 or 13 in the first. Left behind Truss and Broderick Jones to the left side of the line. They both do a great job. Remember a year ago, Broderick Jones came into that national championship game in that Georgia line. And will run it again to the left side. McIntosh broke another tackle, a stiff arm, and he goes for about 17 more best receiver as a running back get him back in the game not one turnover you're you know band to the bottom of the bench basically two big time well he has but the two turnovers two drives two turnovers for Georgia. one of them was a fumble by this guy McIntosh and he blasts his way for another 11 yards in the first down and then the second drive was four plays and an interception that McIntosh has had three big runs since that fumble including this one and it, it and McConkey on the move. They'll keep it on the ground, and it's McIntosh again for eight more. Block this time from Washington again on the inside blitz, just enough to clear it out. You do those run blitzes, and they've got that H back right there. McIntosh in the backfield with Bennett will get the carry. He's had some big runs in the second half after that fumble. This time he gets about three before they stand him up. And the clock works its way upfield with Stetson Bennett. He'll get the carry. And he'll get the touchdown. Wouldn't give up. Here he is, right here. Check it out. They run right at him. Willick, number 77, gets a good block. And then at the end, Jones goes, let me help you in. And he does. Brenton Cox trying to hold on for dear life, and just too many bodies help. And it is McIntosh in a gigantic hole off the right side, and he pops out for nine before. Just Tennessee. You're going to see right here they start the game. with the And Dylan Bell, the two wide receivers to the bottom. Bowers is the other way. McIntosh runs behind Bowers. First down and then so. The respect he has goes outside. A bit of an influence play on. Back to the ground, McIntosh, little move in the hole, and he's still moving. Danny McIntosh. Watch him start out this play at left guard. Watch his key block. Just takes Thomas clear out of the play, and that's exactly where they attack behind. Great move in the hole by Mac. Bennett. Gonna go deep again, Kenny McIntosh. Out of the backfield and on the run. All the way down inside the 15. Guards. This time they set him up on the wheel route. And he runs right by it. And you don't want to. To the 14. Back in the red zone. Georgia up 14 to 3 and looking for more. Toss sweep to McIntosh. Darnell Washington out in front blocking and he'll be run out of bounds. Up quickly at the four-yard line, first and goal. Toss Kenny McIntosh, and he's dropped for a loss. Yeah, he bobbled the ball, and I don't think... Watch him bobble the balls, and then he really didn't get going again. This is a situation they really... Todd Munkin loves to go to his... Back at the tailback spot. 
will get the handle right in the middle of things and only about two yards. That's it. Now we're under a minute on the left side. The other three receivers to the right. Tennessee corner blitz. Quick throw to Gary Call. McIntosh down to the. Quick throw, slant. Kirby's running down the field right there. Watch him call a timeout at the bottom of the screen. Pretty good speed. Yep. Well, well. <laughs> Let's put it this way, Kirby would not recruit Kirby. Georgia in command at the moment. Kenny McIntosh with Stetson Bennett in the backfield on the carry. And he drags folks with him for about four yards. In Athens. Just kind of popped up out of nowhere. First down run by McIntosh. First and ten from the 36. McIntosh. Oh, nice tackle. Nice move. Yeah, nice move and nice tackle. Slaughter brought him down. Nico Slaughter comes up, makes the play. Nico had an interception and basically forced a second one. Team for a first down. McIntosh same. only got about a yard. Yep, same thing. Times they line up side by side. Kenny McIntosh. Not the most dynamic position on the team. 30-yard catch, followed by a run by Kenny McIntosh, the tailback, following Carter, and he got driven back. For two, take on the block right here, and then make the play. Jalen Carter hits him, he sheds the block, and makes the tackle. That's an unbelievable play by the linebacker, Tyrus Wheat. Deshaun Page in there. A week ago, I'm sorry, there he is in motion, number 11. And they stuffed the run for a loss. Side, same side. McIntosh, play stopped. Looks to be a little bit short. Oh. No, it's some, well, it's something in the south. It's, uh -huh. Everybody has their own version. It's something special that's going to make you come back for more. Tough run by McIntosh. They trust in Stetson Bennett not to make a big mistake. And he threw that one away. Bennett, 18 out of 25 in the first half, hands it off to Kenny McIntosh for a six-yard run. If the Bulldogs go on to win this one. On first down, Kenny McIntosh. The work here is does in the community. McIntosh tried hard, but finally they've scored on all but one trip this season. McIntosh. Stopped after a gain of then he tries to do a little too much. McIntosh slicing for an eight yard by Stetson Bennett. They're gonna go quickly again after a 28-yard game. And they stuff the run. McIntosh field goal. Would have only given them a 15-point lead, a two-score game. Defense stops Kenny McIntosh. Bridge is loaded to the left right now. Go on the Kenny McIntosh broke one tackle and a second and drags Wildcats for a first. Edwards, McIntosh, and now that Milton is getting healthy again, you'll see him along with Robinson. But this guy, McIntosh, he's their second leading in rushing attempts, the third leading receiver, dependable. They'll try him again and a big opening off the right side. I saw that uh, Davis Willick, number 77, is in the game at right guard right now for Georgia. Don't know if something happened. Third down at three. Empty backfield. Stetson Bennett going to loft it over to Kenny McIntosh. McIntosh inside the 35 and a first down. Things he raved about, Stetson Bennett. He doesn't make any mistakes. He's a veteran. He's seen it all. You see it right. Third, second down at four. Little hesitation by McIntosh, and let me blast for a first down. The country to two field goals. They'd like to get out of the half here. Kenny McIntosh powers his way for a first down with the tackle. Opener for McIntosh. Kenny McIntosh still going all the way to the 39-yard line. That's in spikes it or does he have a play in mind and get it off veteran quarterback should have a play about it right at the 40 he does bennett 
Lobs it over the middle to McIntosh out of the backfield. Take a timeout for Georgia right now. Got it to the 40. With a big play on defense. Kenny McIntosh with that big run before the end of the half. has got about a 13-yard offensive line that I was just talking about. Opens a big hole for McIntosh. Yeah, just get behind those uh, big. They don't call it the big blue wall because it's red. But I tell you, those guys are big. And they block it, don't they? The road graders will be there to bring it to you against LSU the first Saturday of December. McIntosh, nice spin in the hole. Got a couple, maybe three. Under center here on third down and three. They fake the jet sweep. They pitch it to McIntosh. And he gets collared, but not before he picks. Just moving the chains. Not having to punt, as we said in the open, and uh, just run it behind McClendon right there. That's Evers. The most yards to tight ends and running backs. He goes deep, he gets picked off. The guy wanted to go deep to McConkey is in motion. They're just going to keep running it. Kenny McIntosh back in there, another first down. McIntosh has got it first and goal inside the 10. With power football. We saw it, remember, in the SEC, was it the SEC championship? Might have been the national championship game. That was, they were behind, they came back and ran the ball against Alabama and just kind of changed the ball game there. McIntosh. That's a tough half a yard. This is where Stetson cut From the nine. There's Bowers in the flat. And there's the oh, touchdown oh. by Kenny McIntosh. Could have done it either way. Beautiful design. Watch it. Watch Bowers going behind. You can hand it off if you want. You can keep it if you want. Not a bad decision there at all. Either way. Kenny McIntosh behind his blocking. And he's not going to get much this time. Nice job by Kentucky. And again, a big guy, Khalil Saunders. Third down. Talking about the great Billy Sims, by the way. McConkey in motion. They're going to keep it on the ground. Little sidestep and McIntosh. Not only the first down, but more. All the way down to the eight-yard line. And inside, watch him sidestep it. Gets it deep. Oh, man. Actually, the penetration, penetration, but there were blockers on top of the penetration. And that's what made the cut so easy and smooth to make. Here with 9.47 to go in the ball game. And it's Kenny McIntosh again. Cartwheels out for 12 yards and a first. Speed to the left side. Stetson Betty can keep it if he wants. He holds that blitzing slot from Phillips, number 23. See how he just held him. Bulldog first out of the 33. McIntosh again. Weaving his way on the inside for three more. Down and seven. McIntosh. Waits for his blockers, gets out across the defense. Needs to stop Georgia right here. Bowers in motion to the inside to help block for McIntosh. They're not going to get it. Nope. No gain on third and two. Short yards plays that Georgia's offensive line has not moved Kentucky an inch. Two down at the goal line with an opportunity to put the game away. And now here, the opportunity to take. Another two and a half minutes clearly off balance. Didn't know what was going on at all. Georgia goes back to Kenny McIntosh for one yard. Kenny McIntosh. Gang tackled near midfield. A gain of five. Back to Matt. Okay. Near midfield. Second down and five. McIntosh again. First down and more. Spins down to the 41 yard line of 10 on the Wolverines as well. Kenny McIntosh right up the gut into the open field. Caught from behind, breaks a tackle. McIntosh rumbles to the Georgia Tech 35. Offensive line. Watch Kenny McIntosh come right down the middle of the field. You blitz, you shut off the slant. It's a great. Kenny McIntosh had a big first half, 59 yards on the ground, and he'll start the second half off with a gain of four as we go down to Chris. And the win over North Carolina. And right now he's off the field on second down as Kenny McIntosh dives up the middle for three more. So here's half. Georgia Tech brings a blitz. They throw behind it. Wide open. McIntosh down the sideline. Perfectly read by Stetson. And now they go with the NASCAR tempo. McIntosh dives up the middle and drives his way for three. And the job he thinks Coach Thacker has done with this defense. McIntosh 
Stood up at the 15-yard line after a gain of two. Georgia does not have a passing play that's traveled more than 13 yards so far. They're going quick on first and goal. McIntosh at the three-yard line. He's to the front pylon in play action. Instead, it's a handoff to McIntosh. Five yards. Zamari Walton tripped him up. Different ways and put him in places formation-wise all over the field. Another handoff to McIntosh. And he is thrown back by Zeke. The final play of the third quarter. Play clock down to two. They get the snap off. Give it to McIntosh. And he comes up just shy of the five. They hustle back up to the line. Bennett, off play action, looking downfield. Deep one, down the left sideline. Drops it in! There goes Kenny McIntosh! McIntosh inside the 10, out of bounds! It'll be goal to go with a flag! Automatic first down. You're going to go post, clear it out, and here's McIntosh that's going to run the wheel route. Ball fake, that the defense clears out. Look at these defenders have vision back. McIntosh runs by him. Stetson Bennett puts it over the top. What an aggressive play call by Todd Shot in the play action. McIntosh caps it. Touchdown, dogs. Play one. And LSU equal to the task on the first snap. Much This time he's got a little bit of room, but, yep, still going. Got it out for about six. Says what everybody else says. It's a line of scrimmage league. Yep. And last week the line of scrimmage was dominated by Texas A&M. For the first time. Scans the field, running out of time, lobs one to the far side. Incomplete. With it, makes the play, watch him. Playing right there, stays with his man, crowds it. And then he goes and takes it. Nobody open to throw it. Maybe there was, but Sugar Man, everybody on this team believes in him. Toss sweep. McIntosh got it. And block go to his legs like that. You got to take him on high. Good call. They met it in Brock Bowers. And now they're knocking on the door. Only about a yard. Kenny McIntosh. Trying to keep his balance, but his knee hit down after a yard. First down, Georgia at the 25. They'll flare it out. And McIntosh got about things. Both the caught touchdown passes going from right to left to set things up for Kenny McIntosh to break one off the left side and eight yards, maybe nine. Playing courageously, doing all they can. They just don't have the depth. This team is not built as deep. They can't substitute. They tire out. The toss to McIntosh. First down and a bunch more. Out to the third. And McIntosh lost the football. Scooped it up on his own and then is hit and dropped at the 47. For them to lose. This time Harold Perkins knocks it right out of his hand. Trying to make the tackle. And scooped up is now set. Georgia came. Georgia just outside its own five. After stopping that fourth and short for LSU. McIntosh into the middle of the pile, and that pile pushes out to the 10. No, I don't think so. We're done. <laughs> Second and five. Nice play. Good play from the backside. Yeah, absolutely. Right around the end right here. She just gets in there, beats the block this time by Washington. Just blows right through. Darnell Washington thinks he has him. Nope, he does not. Alley Bourne is you. I mean, they're fighting out here. They do not have the numbers to rotate in. McIntosh. He gets four more to the. McIntosh takes tacklers with him. First and goal, Georgia. They still go. Pull the ball. You can take it out of the game. When you come back, you start running like you're possessed. Milk. First and goal at the two. McIntosh. Touchdown. Standing up. So they can come right back with a drive. 94 yards later. 
kind of power. Been a two-loss team yep. in the playoff. And that one continues to hold. Oh, what a stiff one by McIntosh, but basketball. Nice collision. And I always, I always felt that that should be cons tight ends again shifted from left to right. That's the power side. It's Kenny McIntosh behind the blockers. Touchdown, Georgia. Eight yards score. The end zone. There he is. They're going to get it out. Remember last time he came across to the left. This time he's leading it. Find somebody. Oh, I found somebody. <laughs> Got a six foot zone, oh, nothing. Remember, you can't go low, you go high, it could hurt your knee, and you just get run over. Another physical play by Georgia's offense. All Big Ten defensive end puts Georgia seven yards behind the sticks now. Bennett flips it short. McIntosh is an excellent receiver out of the backfield. They use him a lot there. Vanderbilt got him a couple times in that route. Ball quickly out. McIntosh knifing to the end zone touchdown here and then get the lineman out in front and you get behind it You'll see the receiver to the outside there the big tight end Washington throw it now get behind that Convoy of blockers See them finishing blocks on those defensive backs what? McIntosh is the back. It's McConkey in motion Bennett avoids the rush and delivers but it's intercepted. He threw it right to steal chambers and the first bad decision. Wouldn't allow it. Hit play action comes out this way, but watch the pressure force him to have to step up. And I think that surprised him, and he gets rid of the ball quickly on a wheel route that still chambers covers perfectly. Look at 22. He's anticipating this throw to Kenny McIntosh is right there in a rare mistake by step. McIntosh is the deep setback. And he's got the football and he's got a crease in the clear McIntosh one man to beat Touchdown God he stumbled are you kidding me the turf on moves to get clear and tripped on the turf Watch the blocks right here by the left side of this offensive line Just dominating up to the linebacker and then there's the speed Nobody there in the back end of this defense Ronnie Hickman ends up taking a poor angle and you're right <laughs> I mean, he looks back, and by looking back, he loses his bounce. Time, and then get the football to begin the third quarter. McIntosh, in a delay, breaks an initial tackle and is dragged down by Danny McIntosh. He scored a touchdown on a screen pass in the first half. He was the carry, but nothing doing in the middle. Steel Chambers has been active, filling from a linebacker. See, Dave. Seeming to motion keep going keep we got to oh, keep yeah. playing against Georgia McIntosh bangs forward for 10 Holly You know who else is celebrating on this Ohio? That's what he sees that offensive <laughs> line little wounded pride against Michigan and the challenge of playing this incredibly talented deep Georgia front so there's a lot of a long way to go Bennett flips it short McIntosh stiff arm escapes makes a cut McIntosh one of the best backs in the country catching the ball out of Bennett looks across the middle very short completion immediate hit against that cover two look for the Buckeyes going fast not because they have to because they want to catch the defense off guard and there's a short completion to McIntosh smaller alumni base and enrollment has showed up in big numbers in LA this is McIntosh, who's an excellent back, running and receiving out of the back. By far the most targeted receiver in this offense. McIntosh running to the right, bounces off a tackle, and another big game. This Georgia ground game is churning early. Remember early in the game, it was a lot of misdirection. It was going back the other way. They can play now in their fourth series. Kendall Milton slipped as he made the cut, and he stopped at the 10-yard line. Looks like a clock at three. Just gets it off and hands it off into heavy traffic and McIntosh is knocked down Finally actually just caught up Bursting up the middle and barreling down to the 30-yard line is McIntosh Still 73 a nice block right there and look at this just opens up McIntosh again at the left side slips one tackle another a flag is down in the five touchdowns in a field. Yes <laughs> See what they do here 
And off with the right side, and they just continue to rip off chunks of yardage. That's Kenny Milton. A lot of confidence in what was about to happen in the game. McIntosh picks his way for a short game. But, you know, talking all this about Georgia, you, you flip action. That's also happened. McIntosh, TCU beginning all the way back to 2020 and even through last year with JT Daniels. McIntosh takes the flip pass and cuts it back.